Hi, Leo. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, general reading. We are going to start off here with an oracle card. I love these. False narrative. Look at this guy. It's right on time for Halloween, isn't it? Woo! Okay, just something about that discernment. I've had people create false narratives about me, and it's like, man, are you codependent if you're that worried about my life? <laughs> okay, be mindful of the story you're telling yourself. Having a negative narrative is destructive and simply not true. Stop listening to your ego-based story that is laced with falsehoods and old conditioning. For every negative thing you say, Counteract that by saying three positive words. See the truth of who you are, which is wise, magnificent, and radiant. So about a week ago, almost two now, I guess it's been, I posted a Law of Attraction reading with a great Abraham Hicks message. And it was basically that, telling you to reach for happier feeling thoughts. You're really re-explaining that vortex full of everything you want. And you got the only way you can get there is by feeling like you have it now. There's 8 billion people. If you are the owner of a broken heart, there's somebody out there for you. Or the owner of a lonely heart. If it's a job or money that you're looking for, there's plenty of it out there. And so really getting rid of that old conditioning, that old story, that limiting belief. Okay, so... I definitely feel like that's right on time. I still love the picture as we head towards October. All right, let's see what's on tap for you, Leo. All right, Eight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, that's looking good. Death, there you go with the old story, the old false narrative. High Priestess, Five of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and Judgment, and the Three of Swords. Well, I'll tell you what, if you've ever been through a situation in your life where your boundaries changed, okay, and you realize that you were allowing yourself to be open to too many people that weren't the right people for you. They weren't the uplifters. You may find that in the more recent past, if you've made your circle a lot smaller, I feel like you're going to find that with that, you actually, your energy actually expands because you're not, you're not interacting with people who are in a different belief system than you are. So there may be some endings here, but I feel like you'll look back on it and you'll say, yeah, at the time I didn't have any boundaries. Once I got a, a boundaries established, I didn't need those people around me. It didn't, they didn't feel robust. And so I feel like with this, you have information coming in that brings, I'll talk about robust, a robust new beginning. Judgment is a real turning point in your life. It's when everything moves forward. If you look at the alignment of the Eight of Wands, they're in perfect alignment. In the tarot, what we like are, are objects that are straight like that, that don't intersect. The intersecting one's bad. The straight, good, okay? And so I feel like you have a situation that moves forward quickly. Information and quick turnaround time so you don't have to sit around and wait. If it's a new job, it's going to be everything. It's going to be more than what you've had. And you may find that your coworkers are sad to see you go. And especially, too, if you've had kind of a an interesting, like, love-hate kind of a thing there where there were times in your job where you said, I couldn't stand going there. I just felt like I... We weren't clicking. We we're out of sync with each other. And then times where you thought this is the best job I could have ever had. I feel like as you move on, they're going to see the good in the situation. They're going to see the good in you and it might make it a little bittersweet. Now, those of you that really related and resonated to the boundaries, like where you used to open your life up to people who were honestly probably a little toxic and you kind of realize that and close down shop, the close sign for business is up. Um, I feel like with that, you're going to have just the right people around you. If it's love that you're asking about, boy, do you have a good one coming in, especially with judgment, because it's not an ego with an ego. These are not two egos align, aligning and joining up. When two egos link up like that, 
the relationship doesn't tend to last and it tends to be fraught with a lot of problems where it's like we had this extreme love, but also to this extreme conflict. That's oftentimes egoism in a relationship. This is mature. Judgment's mature love. And especially too, because you have three major arcana here. You have Scorpio energy, but you also have with the high priestess, the card of the psychic and the Archangel Gabriel. So I feel like you're on a path, okay? You're on the right path here. And with the Eight of Wands, you're going to be humming along. I feel like with this, you, you'll recognize it right away. This is positive communication, by the way. And of course, so is judgment. They're getting led into heaven. It's like the most important call they've ever had in their lives. So with this Eight of Wands, things are going to be clicking, humming. They're going to be easy to uh, d identify what's for you and what's not for you. You won't get yourself tangled up into anything that just isn't a fit. You won't do it, not in this. And so with the Ace of Pentacles, you got a nice, big, juicy offer. Again, if it's a job offer, I do feel like it's going to have better pay. And I feel like you're ready to move on. I feel like you've expanded and outgrown some situations around you, whether it was people. And sometimes, right, we think less is more like we talked about. Um, but I also feel like with this, the people you meet in this energy are going to be with you for a long, long time. So if it's networking in terms of your job, it's people that you'll always have a fond place in your heart, but you'll be with them too. You'll continue to have interactions with them for the long haul. It's like you've got this synergy drawing people in, the right people at the right time. Now, this also feels like a bit of luck. And so when you have the Ace of Pentacles, this is where you start to see the winds come in. Those little day-to-day -day things where all of a sudden you're getting free stuff through the drive through Or you're getting emails that say, hey, this is good for you know a coupon. Or you go to click on a legitimate link. Okay, you go online. Maybe you're doing a little shopping. Always be careful there. And all of a sudden it's like you have a wheel that spins and you've won 40% off. It's all those little wins, but see that as the universe recognizing what you want. See that as the universe delivering to you that there's a shape coming in. And so with this uh, Ace of Pentacles, I do feel like with this too, I will say if there's something in terms of the physical body, you have this energy with the Four of Pentacles of protecting what you know is valuable. You are valuable. Like I said, this is the boundaries that keep coming in. But I'd also say, too, where you're discerning about money, but in your physical body, too, where you won't overdo it, okay? There might be certain things, too, where everyone's going around, oh, it's pumpkin latte season, and you're like, I don't touch this stuff. It doesn't even appeal to me. You walk past a dish of candy corns, and it just doesn't even occur to you to try them. When you're in that place of alignment, and I can't remember if I mentioned this uh, a couple weeks ago when I put in the... Um, law of attraction video for a from abraham hicks you know when you're in that place of alignment and reaching for happier thoughts you don't even notice what you don't want you don't even notice negative inter interactions around you so if people around you are like jabbing you in the side going hey did you see that and you're like no because it's not on my energy field and it's something negative right so you'll be you might find that you're a bit um repelled okay if you're watching something even some of the things, the content that you might take in normally, if it's too down, you might say, I just don't have the energy, the stomach for this. I don't have the bandwidth for it. It just doesn't even interest me because you're having a spiritual transformation. That's what this will bring in. You have a rebirth here. And so when death comes in, we're stripping away the old. We're getting rid of it. We're not going to need it anymore. And it's like a brand new you emerges. I feel like there's like this beautiful butterfly emerging from a chrysalis. It's awesome. And so I feel like with this, so you move forward in a way where you don't look back. Now, in terms of relationships too, I mentioned you have the end of old patterns. So if you again had some relationships that were pretty gnarly in terms of the swinging of the emotions, I feel like you're going to be done with that. And you have one who's coming in. It may be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, where you click with that person immediately. And I also feel like you both know where you've been. So you're not looking to dredge up the past. You don't care about that. You're not really, I mean, you'll talk about it where it's relevant, but I just don't feel like it's going to be a big key player in the relationship. So the high priestess, the card of the psychic, trust your senses here. 
If something doesn't feel right to you, follow it. Don't try to talk yourself into what you know is not for you. Nothing happens to you. It all comes from you. Okay, that's your point of attraction. Everything comes from within. So with this high priestess energy, you are in flow. So allow it to happen. And sometimes when you're in flow, it causes others to be washed away. I feel like this is what the response is going to be. You may have somebody who comes forward with an apology, like they didn't value you enough, and that's fine. I mean, it's fine to you know have them somewhere in your life, but things have maybe shifted and changed a bit. You may have, like I said, outgrown them. So with that, with the Four of Pentacles, I do feel like you're going to be a bit protective of your own energy. Again, anything you ingest, whether it's a mental and a spiritual diet or a physical one, you're going to be in the place where it just doesn't interest you. He doesn't lack. I mean, look, he's got four pentacles. He can't even take any more. He has enough, but he knows what he has. And so, like I said, it's going to be quality over quantity. With the um, energy of judgment here, you're stripped free of that ego like we talked about. You rise out of it. The connections are real. They're or organic. They're authentic. They're deeper. And in terms of a job, too, though, like I said, I feel like you're going to have a lot of room to advance. This is not just once and done. It's like you, you take on something new. You're going to keep climbing up that ladder. And so with the Three of Swords, it's letting go of this. It's letting go and allowing the change to come in, not allowing this to continue to stab you in the heart. You could have very... Uh, some heavy, hurtful feelings from those that you move on from. But again, that's also their ego, isn't it? It's how they see things. It's their perspective of things. So let's see now. We're going to be done with those false narratives and we're on to something bigger. Listen to your intuition. We said that, didn't we? No need to worry. I would agree. You're letting go of what doesn't go with you, what holds you back because you have abundance coming in. And you have weight. So with that too, there may be something about this. Again, not accepting things that are not for you. You have a yes, all right? So good things are on the way for you, Leo. I love you and I'll be back again soon.